Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a color combination lock, as you see here. And one cool thing about this specific design is it is infinitely stackable. As you can see, I have two right here next to each other, and this can go on forever as long as you want, and they will stack, so you will have to have both of them correct to do whatever you want. In my case right now, I have a redstone lamp. So if you see, if I press this button, nothing happens over here, but if I push this, to make it the combination I set. Then if I push this button, you'll see this lamp lights up. Before we start, this build is for Java Edition only. This will not work in Bedrock Edition. Let's get on with the build. Okay, to start out, we will need a four by 14 area. As you can see, I have laid out right here, and you might be wondering what this purple strip is for. Well, this is actually an overlap between two of the layers. Like you saw back there, I had two different color combination locks, and in this layer, both the left and the right will be using redstone on this space. So if you're making two color combination locks like I had, it'll only be seven blocks, not eight. To start out, we'll lay out our pistons. And if you look one, two, three, the fourth block in right here, we will want our pistons on the middle two out of these four. And then if we look one, two, three, then the fourth block right here will be our pistons facing upward. And then if we go one, two, three, four, this is the layer we want them on, so right here. And then we will just finish the rectangle right here. Now we can start by making a little frame for when the build is complete. We can build up like this. And you can decorate this later, but this is a standard that I would recommend. We can then put our button right here with a sticky piston facing down on the back side, an observer also facing down into a block, redstone dust here, an observer facing up, and then over here, one redstone dust into two redstone repeaters, redstone dust here as well, and then two repeaters there. Next, we wanna put some observers here and here into a solid block with a sticky piston facing this way, with an observer facing downward, like so, and then two redstone dust here, one here, with two repeaters like that. Now again with observers, we will build up two right here, and then out like this into another block, this time with a three tick redstone repeater right here, into a solid block with redstone here, and then redstone on top here as well. Now for these two last pistons, we wanna place a block here with a redstone lamp, an observer going this way, up, and then into a solid block, and then a four tick redstone repeater right here, and then redstone dust here. Now with your solid and non-solid blocks, what you wanna do is place your non-solid, like glass or glowstone, like this, all around but not in any corner besides this corner right here you want to leave this corner filled but these three empty and then this block the second up on the right side you want to place a solid block right there now on the other piston feed tape we want to fill it in the exact same way with all the corners empty besides that one except we want to use all solid blocks so if i just go in here there we go so you want to leave this one empty as well because this is the top right corner. Now to add the circuit to check if they got it correct. And so what we want to do is place a redstone torch into a repeater right here. A normal piston facing this way with an observer like this into a block down and then repeater and then a piston with a block out like this. Now, right now, this color combination lock is in the correct state, like the person who is entering it got it correct. So whatever you want, a door, a lamp like I had over there, you will hook it up into here and you'll have a redstone repeater going like this. And when you supply an input like the button I had, it will go through and it will only give an output over here if they have it correct. And if you have two or more stacked together, all you have to do is build out three blocks from this and then the next one will be right here you can put more redstone dust another repeater and then again you will only get an output here if all of them are correct not just one but all of them 
Now that we're done, we can touch up a little bit more. I'd like to add two blocks here, and then I can go and find whatever blocks I want to actually be showing, like I had the colors. I'm going to be using concrete, but you can use any blocks that are movable by pistons, but you probably don't want to use glass because then they can see through to the combination. There are 11 different blocks when it cycles around, so it will be one hot bar full with two extras. In my opinion, the easiest way to fill this in is to break it, place the block in, and then push the button. And this will also double as a testing of the circuit to make sure you built it right. It should swap over, and then you can do the same. Break it, and then push the button, and keep doing this until you have all your blocks filled in. Before this video ends, I want to quickly show how you would build another color combination lock next to this one. You build up like this, and then you start the tutorial over again like this with your piston facing down like this. And like I said, this purple strip is where they overlap, but these will not interfere with each other. You can build around them and it, they will both work fine. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you in the next one.